Hi guys, my name is Lot and today I'll show you how we sketch cars. In the beginning I'll remind you what kind of perspective we are using. This is a one and two point perspective. The first one is used for the side, front and rear view. The second one is used for almost any angle, but it will be a little more complicated. Now I am showing a fairly prominent perspective production in order to visually see how it works. Obviously, when we sketch cars we don't see the vanishing points, but we should keep them in mind and if necessary visualize where they might be. So now all parallel lines converge to one point, which simplifies our construction. Just a few movements and the template, our base, is ready. With two points it can be a little more difficult, but the result looks more impressive. Now I'll quickly do a side view, brick, pair of wheels, ground, rims of cars, overhands, left, right and cockpit. Done! Here is our horizon. This is a one point perspective view. In the upper sketch, the horizon is higher, so the perspective works fully. Here we don't see the convergence of the lines, since the horizon is in the center of the car and the perspective is almost not taken into consideration. Now I'll sketch out a three-quarter view from the front with the horizon in the center and a two-point perspective. I start with a brick. Marking one third, on the left will be the front, wheels will be the right, ground, left overhand, and cockpit. Here perspective works minimally so that all lines can be parallel. Reduce this. Now let's make the first sketch. It will be side view, starting from a rectangle, then wheels. On average, the base of the car has from three to three and a half wheels. This is a good starting point. So, ground, rims, overhands, left, right. Just reference lines. Ground. Right. 
as this is a sketch we can exaggerate realism make the body narrower in height especially noticeable on the arches and windows and increase the wheel size the lowest point of the car is usually in these places Now I will improvise in design, just throwing in random lines and shapes. I note that the design should be unified and the lines uh, should support each other. When there is a connection, the design looks winning. repeating lines to maintain unified style. Something like that. Don't forget about lines that show the form, the cutting lines. This is a very important component because it shows how we feel the form. It is useful to cut the car like a cake.
here it is desirable that the line to be straight. the silhouette for greater clarity. Done. Enough for the first ID. About 8 minutes. Also, I want to say that today I just draw rough quick sketches and uh, next view will be a 3 quarter view already yeah um, the side part will open up to us more in this case mark the wings ground Mark the outer points of the body. The rear point will be the wheel. I constantly mirror the canvas for convenience and mistake checking. The A pillar curve exits near the center of the wheel. In the case of a front mounted sports coupe, remember that the center of the car is shifting strongly to the left as the shape of the front is turning. Decided to slightly rise the cockpit, and the artist turned out to be too flat.
We fix everything we don't like along the way. Remember to unify the design, we tie the lines together and don't forget about cutting lines. Also, my advice is to show the thickness of the tires between the arch and the rim. Cutting line of the hood. I pull the opposite wheel to the edge of the bumper. It's constructionally wrong, but it looks visually awesome. Line the center of the wheels, which is recessed inward for shoviness. And actually, this is enough. This time, I'll draw a rear view. I'm setting up a base and putting the car on wheels.
start with arches, then builds, center back. Visit wheel, that wheel is slightly less and a little bit change the angle. Center back. I outline the silhouette of the roof. First, the left pillars, then the right. the center line now the silhouette looks quite stable On wheels, I usually don't waste time on quick sketches, just a few lines. You also need to mark the force wheel if it's visible.
I think it's worth cutting off the roof a little and moving the A pillar back. Taking into consideration the line of the C pillar. When I change the shape or add new planes and faces to the body, I throw the cutting lines.
it's to draft. I don't really like it, so I decided to make an over on an already finished template. Since we have a ready-made underlayer, we can start without a brick. Drawing an upper layer, we can edit the design in the meantime. And the upper layer process is similar to the draft sketch. So, in order not to repeat too much, I increase the video speed three times. Finally, here are these three simple sketches. Enough to find ideas. Write in the comments what you think about it. Ask questions if something is unclear or interesting. Thank you for your attention and bye.